5 reasons why your lap times are not improving in rental karting. Now the first reason is overdriving. Many beginners I see at the track have a tendency to enter a corner too quickly. This means they'll be sliding or drifting through a corner, so on the exit of a corner they would have lost all of their momentum and their cart almost becomes stationary. If you find yourself sliding or drifting through a corner, you either need to brake earlier or lift off the gas earlier depending on the type of corner. Remember, lap time is one on the exit of a corner. So drive the corner in such a way to maximize your exit speed. As opposed to entering the corner rapidly, completely missing your braking point, and then drifting, which causes your tires to scrub and lose all of your momentum. And this brings me on to the second reason why you're not improving your lap times. Because on the other hand, you could be a cautious driver who's braking for too long and coasting into a corner. You see, in rental carts, you need to keep the revs high. So if you find yourself pressing the brake pedal for a long time, and then you release, and then you're neither on the gas or the brake, so you're just coasting in a corner, and then you eventually get back onto the gas pedal, during that period, so much lap time is just lost. So how can you overcome this and become more confident in your braking? Well, number one, establish a braking point. This is the exact location where you'd press the brake pedal on track. Initially, I want you to set the braking point relatively early before the corner. Remember, we're trying to apply the concept of slow in, fast out. Now the key is to press the brake pedal hard for a short period, whereby you feel the rear end of the cart start to rotate. This will not only give you a slight bit of oversteer, which signals it's time to release your foot off the brakes, but it also allows you to slow the go-kart down quickly and sufficiently to take a corner so you can get right back onto the accelerator pedal and accelerate through the corner, which is where you'd be gaining that lap time. Now, the third reason you're not improving your lap times is because you're not using all of the track. You see, the fastest way to take a corner is by entering it all the way from the outside edge. You'd then cut in and take an apex at the inside edge and then you'd exit the corner back out wide to the outside edge again. Now the moment you enter a corner even slightly away from the outside edge, you're compromising yourself because the angle of the corner has now become tighter, so you're going to have to turn the steering wheel more. And in karting, the more you turn your steering wheel, the slower your go-kart will drive. So the key is to use the full width of the track, applying the concept of out, in, out. Now the fourth reason why you're not improving your lap times is because you're leaning into the corners. Rental carts have no differential, so when you're cornering, you should lean your body to the outside to take the load off the inside rear tire. Now leaning out helps you immensely when cornering. Your body is going in the direction of the natural force, and now that you've got so much grip on the outside tires, you'll find you barely have to turn your steering wheel when cornering. On the other hand, when you lean into a corner, you're fighting against the natural force, and this causes you to turn the steering wheel more when you're cornering. Now the fifth reason why you're not improving your lap times is because you're not trusting the process. If you just turn up to the track, do one session, get disheartened by your lap time, and then never come back for another year, you're never going to improve. You need to dedicate time and effort to practice regularly to really see results. You start this by establishing a day in the week where you go to the track for practice sessions. And these sessions shouldn't be freestyle, where you're just doing random things. Rather, you do things systematically by establishing a session objective for each session. So today in session one, I'm only practicing out in out for each corner to understand the flow of the racing line. And then in session two, my objective is to establish a braking point for the necessary corners. I'm gonna start by braking early, and then gradually, once I gain confidence, I'll shift my braking point deeper into the corner. And you should supplement your sessions with a driver logbook where you take pre and post session notes, and also invest in a GoPro or similar camera so you can record and analyze your onboard footage. This way, during the week, when you're not at the track, you have something to refer back to in the form of footage and notes.
Using this methodology, I've coached many drivers who were complete beginners in karting and now they've gone on to do karting professionally. If you've got your own footage and you're interested in a coaching session with me, you can book it on the K-Tips website. If you're new to karting, be sure to check out my How to Race playlist and download my free Go Karting ebook where I cover the basics about rental karting. Let me know if you found this video useful and let me know what kind of struggles you face when it comes to improving your lap time. But until the next video guys, I'll see you next time.